Folks, before we get started with this video, I want to be abundantly clear. Wear your PPE, wear your hand protection, your gloves, your respirator, and also wear eye protection when working with any kind of dust or spray rig like this. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another Tool Tuesdays here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Today we're gonna have a little bit of fun. I've had a bunch of questions from people in the middle of the summer. How in the world do you keep the weeds out of your huge driveway? So our driveway is somewhere in a neighborhood of 900 feet long. It extends all the way down to our road down here, all the way past here, and we do have weeds. And we have grass that grows up in the driveway right here, and I didn't take care of it just so I could show you guys this fun cool tool that we're going to use here on Tool Tuesday today. So come along and we'll talk a little bit about weed control in your driveway and what might be appropriate for you. All right? Woo! All right guys, let me first thank you all for being here. I appreciate you being here on the Stony Ridge Farm with me. Consider pounding that like button, jump in, subscribe to the channel if you want more information like this. We're building a first generation farm here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina, and we're taking you along with us. So what we have here today, this is a Femco Industries spray tank, okay? And it's a really cool setup. It's something that's gonna be much, much easier on your back and on your shoulders than just having the old standard pump sprayer. What I've done for probably the past, I guess, five years that we've been here on the farm is go around with a backpack style pump sprayer that has like the handle on it. You just pump it and you spray and you pump and you spray. I think the pump's on this side and the spray's on the right hand. That is time consuming. We do five gallons at a time. You can also use those little pump sprayers like you pick up at Walmart or Lowe's or whatever. Those, uh, most of them are uh, Roundup brand, I guess. We used all matter of pump sprayers here on the farm, and this is the easy solution. So this is a pump sprayer that is battery operated. That's designed to fit on the back of a UTV or an ATV. And again, this is a Femco brand. It's from Gemplers.com. I'll post a link in the video description down there. Thanks a lot to Gemplers for helping us out on this and gave us a good deal on this sprayer. So we're going to show you how it all works. We're going to open it up. We'll fill it up with water. It's a 25 gallon tank and we'll show you it has spray arms down here and it has a wand and it's all powered right off your ATV or UTV battery. All right. All right, once again, this is the 25 gallon tank and this is the spray arm or the boom that will go on the back of your machine. So it opens up just like so. Pull it out just like that and just like this. And it provides nearly a 12 foot spraying area. I don't know, don't quote me. I'll post down there uh, how wide it is, but I believe it's right around 12 to 15 feet. And this will cover a large area. So. What this is all about is saving you time and saving you backbreaking energy. Also, another feature of this critter is the handheld spray wand. And this thing has a really long hose on it. I'm going to say somewhere around 12 feet long. So when you get to a spot where you're not going to use your boom sprayer, you turn on your spray arm and you spray the spot areas like up against this shed. Let's show you. So obviously I'm not going to be able to get down in here with that spray boom. So the spray arm allows me to access that and that thing will spray nearly 20 feet. So let's show you how this thing fills up. There's a big screw type lid right here on the top. We take that screw type lid off and we'll fill it up with cool water. So we got our water hose set out over here. I'm going to run it until we get cool water and we'll fill this guy up. Again, it's a 25 gallon capacity. Now, you don't have to use an inorganic spray. In other words, you can use an organic spray to spray your areas. You can use an inorganic spray, like a Roundup type spray or a glyphosate type spray to kill the grass in your driveway. Whichever is most cost effective for you guys, that's the one you need to do. But you need to wear the appropriate PPE. So if you're fooling with glyphosate or if you're fooling even with a, a weed killer that's not glyphosate based, you still want to protect yourself. You want to wear a mask, a respirator, and you want to wear some rubber gloves. We've put our dogs up and we've taken all the cars out of the driveway so that everything is unobstructed and we want to minimize contact with metal. 
So most weed killers or grass killers are going to have some sort of salt on them, okay? Some sort of salt. It is a salt. And we don't want to expose metal like this building right here to those salts. So we're definitely going to minimize contact with the building and we're going to minimize contact with anything that's metal. We are out to get rid of these weeds, but we don't want to destroy stuff on the farm. So let's fill her up and we'll take her for a run. Before we put our mixture in here with our weed killer, we want to show you guys how this thing works and how it sprays. If you get one of these yourself, I encourage you to see how wide of a swath it sprays because you want to know how far out from the end this spray nozzle is going to spray so that you don't go out and you kill your lawn by driving down your driveway and spraying your lawn instead of the weeds in your driveway. So let's show you how it all works. So this is the pump setup and you have a pressure gauge right here. Normally it runs somewhere in around the 60 PSI mark, 60 to 80 PSI. Don't quote me on that. But we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. So you got a wire that runs up. It's a very long wire and you have some extensions on here. It runs up and attaches to the battery here on the Kubota X1140. And then our switch is right here near the operator station. So we'll turn that switch on. You can hear our pump start to run it builds up pressure and then it cuts off and we're stopping at about 60 psi now once you put whatever mixture you're going to use on your property to kill the weeds there is a little switch right here that allows it to circulate so in other words it's going to be tough to stir this once you put your mixture in but you flip this switch right here it's a little valve and that is circulating so that will help mix all of your weed killer in this 25 gallon container so my suggestion is keep that going all the time while you're uh, spraying so that your mixture is thoroughly mixed now the second switch right here operates the boom in the back so we'll turn the boom on now you can see how quickly it's spraying out so if you have a dust problem on your farm, on if you live on a dirt road or something like that, you can always use this for dust control also. So, so you can see we get about a full 16 foot swath of spray. That's going to totally simplify our job here. Now for those spotty areas, we'll turn off the sprayer here. Okay, so say we go up to one of our barns or one of our sheds and we've got to spray around the outside edge of the shed. This is the spray nozzle for that. And buddy, that thing will spray. It's fully adjustable. It has a brass tip on it right here. So if you want, I uh, hope the wind isn't blowing too hard, but if you want a fan spray like that, you can have it. Or if you want to shoot a stream like that, you can have it in case you've got a large area and you'd just like to soak it just like that. So it's the ultimate super soaker. <laughs> very, very cool. Now this hose is long enough to reach up to the cab so that I can hold this in my hand as I cruise along and I can hit spots of weeds if I need to. Cool? Let's uh, toss a drone up in the air and put this thing to work.
<laughs> so that's it. That's how it works, guys. Um, I won't dispose of these gloves until after I clean this out. So after every use, we'll clean it out. Whatever type of herbicide you decide you want to use, whether you want to go with a glyphosate herbicide or whether you want to use something different like a vinegar base or uh, some homemade concoction, this thing will work. Just of note, the sprayers are a non-drip type sprayer. So once you turn it off, it doesn't drip anymore. It sprays everything out, and when you turn it off, no drips, okay? Now, in case you're cruising along by an edge of a fence or by the gate down there where we were, this is collapsible. So not only does it fold up, if you hit something, this is spring-loaded. So it's not going to damage whatever you bump into. So if you accidentally bump into grandma's Mercedes, <laughs> well, if grandma's got a Mercedes, she shouldn't have it parked in the way when you're doing this. You want to make sure that your driveway is all clear. Uh, for the handheld wand, definitely want to wear a mask and you want to wear gloves. You want to protect yourself no matter what you're using. You don't want to breathe it in. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoy this. There is a meter on the back of this. In case you don't want to spray a full 25 gallons, there's a meter on the back there so you can judge how much mixture you want to put into your spray rig. Rinse it out when you're done. Have fun with it. This is a huge time saver for us on the farm. Lots of folks have been asking, what do you do? What do you do, man? You never have any weeds in your driveway. So I've been letting them grow up just so I could show you. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks to Gemplers. Again, there'll be a link down in the video description to this critter. And I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm Tool Tuesdays. All right? Woo! We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be Stony Ridge.